Welcome back to the top five. I am Chris. I'm Tom. I'm Corey. And this is Tyler. And last week we had a fan submit his five picks for TV shows last week. It was, I think so. It was, yeah. it was my brother. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. He says we should do movies this week. Okay. All right. So does everybody have top five movies? Uh, Yes, we do. Yes. All right. Yes, Yes, I do. Tom, if you want to start us off, go ahead. Sure. Uh, My top five, number five movie is going to be The Avengers. I just love the movie. Saw it twice opening weekend. Kick ass Saw it once, and I really liked it. It was pretty good. That was a solid movie. It was solid. I loved it. All right. My number five pick is Catch Me If You Can. Is that with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, and Tom Hanks. Oh, um, it's and it's based on a true story too, which is I think is pretty cool. I have seen it's it, good. but I haven't seen it in a while. Have yeah, I actually seen own it. it? So, really, never saw it. No, nope. you know what it's about? I think I saw it. Sort yeah. of. I get the gist of it. My number five is Back to the Future, the original. I love it. Yeah, it's a good movie. I Definitely love that one of my favorite comedies, but it's also got that sci-fi stuff in it. Really, really good. I like part two, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, second one is good. Num- my, my number five, uh, out of the Pixar lineup, I picked The Incredibles just because of how detailed and how much work they have to put into the 3D animation. And yeah. it's it's like two hours and ten minutes. That's that's insane for like a, it's a Pixar yeah. movie. Wow. I didn't in. realize it was that long. It's a good movie. It's not animation. my favorite Pixar. It, okay. Oh, my number four is Animal House. It's an awesome movie. Does that have Never saw it? Yes, it does. I like boobs. Never saw it, but... Same. <laughs> so, we're good. No. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen, one of the top, seen the whole thing. It's one of the top comedies it's good, of though. all time. So a lot of funny spots. That's one I have to get around to see. All right. Speaking of comedies, uh, my number four pick is Step Brothers. That, to me, uh, that movie is good. But... Yeah, good to me, that, that's that, one of... I think but that, that's it the gets fi- so that, old. That first half is good. That and then the last half, half just bombs. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I still think it's one of the f- uh, funniest movies, in my opinion. It's funny if you watch yeah. it with a crowd. If you watch it by yes. yourself, the last half drags on. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. My number four is Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. What's in the good box? Movie. What's in the box? Oh, it's so good. What's in the box? Last half hour. Amazing. Kevin Spacey is great. I'm pretty sure he was only in the movie for that last half hour, but I think he got nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Wow. Not 100%. I didn't really? do my research, but... Oh, wow. That's a good movie. I've only seen the last half. Watch it. Watch the entirety. Yeah, it's so good. I, I do have to watch that. Definitely. Segway. My number four is Rush Hour. Because I Ooh. love Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker together. That is such a terrible pick for number four. It's such a good pick for number four. How do you four? go from The Incredibles, which is a pretty good movie, to Rush Hour, which is one of those, like, duh. Rush, Rush Hour is such a good yeah. movie. You watch your mouth. No, it's not. All right, my number three pick is American Pie. That's the second one, American Pie Two, when they go to the uh, the beach house. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. I love that movie. Did it's you awesome. switch your pick? What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Okay. No. Because I didn't. I didn't hear what you said the first time that we recorded it, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. I changed my mind. Oh, you son of a bitch! Good. You wanted to pick something that was better than Rush Hour, didn't you? I did, and I had to. Oh my Wasn't God. that hard? Segway, just I segue could... before I start screaming. Fine. All right. Um, my number three pick is uh, Toy Story. I love the whole series, but all three movies, but the first one is absolutely my favorite. If I had to pick one out of the three, yeah, I think it would be the second one. No. Really? I, first I, like one. I wasn't one. a fan of the second one. I thought the first, first one was the best. I see the probably the first one. Okay. My number three is Scream from 1996. Great movie. Excellent. It started, it started that whole genre. Well, yeah, it did. brought it back. The slasher oh, yeah. genre died in the 80s, and Scream kind of brought it back. Kind of poked fun at the entire thing, but it still made it really, really good. Uh, it's one of the most quotable yeah. for me. I've always found, like, I can quote that movie from beginning to end without a problem. It's just always been oh, one no of doubt. my favorites, too. Yeah. Just sit down and watch, and I know the twist at the end. I know who the killer is, but it's still it's still great. All right. My number three is Inglorious Bastards. Uh, Quentin Tarantino movies are made for adults, and that's what I like. I like the real life blood action gore in the movie. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. made for kids, so it w- it was just an awesome movie overall. It was a good movie. That really was. I did not 
Never saw it. My favorite Quentin Tarantino is Reservoir Dogs and then Pulp Fiction. Have you seen Django uh, Unchained? Other than that, so that was kind of movie. Django Unchained is just like Inglorious Bastards. Really? Because I never it's saw Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. I don't know if I'll go that far. You should watch it. It's it's really good. Uh, number two, happen, Thomas. But my my number two is Law Abiding Citizen with Gerard Butler and Jamie Fox. It's just an awesome movie. It's great. I've never seen it. Never it's saw like, it. And like you actually, it. it's emotional. Like I'm, I'm not into those drama movies where it's like two guys against. Well, the it's movie. like a drama and a thriller. It's, it's good. All right, my number two pick. Um, I know we're we, we're not supposed to be doing series, but Pirates of the Caribbean the trilogy. Get the I hell love, out of here! I love one. those. No, I love those which movies. Yeah, which one? one? But we'll I'm kick picking, you out. Which we'll one? kick you out of the rest of the top five. Let Let me finish, okay? <laughs> I love the trilogy, no, but the first. Said. No, the f- let me finish, Tom, so we can keep... <laughs> I love the trilogy, but I'm going to pick the first movie as my number two pick. Okay, my number two is the original 1978 Halloween. Good movie. Hmm. Good movie. That That is Very a good, good. one. Uh, it's pretty much... It, it sort of kicked off the slasher genre. It's one of my favorite genres. It, uh, it's 36 years later. It's still one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. All right, my number two is probably one of the longest movies on any of our lists, I'm guessing. Wow. The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, good it. movie. That is, it's such a good movie. It is movie. such a good movie. And it's like, I, I heard some people of talking about it, and I, I watched it on AMC about a year and a half ago, sometime in October, and I actually sat down, and it had like so many commercials, and it was three hours long, and it was just so good. It was a great movie. Have you ever just watched it like, you know, like the DVD or anything like uncut? No, I haven't. Watch it uncut. Whoa, Corey, he he escapes. Okay. <gasps> Spoiler Whatever. alert. Uh, All right, Tom, you go. Also, okay. oh. also, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Okay, Tom, now you bullshit. Go. Anyway, <laughs> my number one. I thought Job of the Hut was is the Dark Knight. I just right. love the, the performance by okay. uh, Heath right. Ledger as the Joker is just amazing. I, you know what? I haven't seen yeah. the whole thing. Are you serious? Really? Again, I've seen bits and pieces. You have to watch the entire thing. It's awesome. And I've never seen the first movie, but we went to the midnight showing of the last yeah, one. Yeah, we did. And that and it was really good. I did not like that last really? one. I like Chris, Bane. Dark Knight Rises. We're going to have a movie night and watch all the me. Batman movies, okay? That's not happening. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's too long. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's your number one pick. Okay. Sorry. Um, my number one pick is Forrest Gump. I absolutely oh, love God. that movie. Called it. Is that is is that deserving of a number one pick? I think so. Yeah. It's there's I, nothing else like it. Nobody Tom else. Tom Hanks has an amazing performance. All right, my number one film of all time is Fight Club. It's <laughs> a good movie. It's a great movie. Excellent, excellent movie. Brad Pitt. Is awesome in that movie as Tyler Durden. Edward Norton, who's my favorite actor, is amazing in that as well. Great story, never seen it. great twist towards the end. Watch it. You have to. I know watch the twist, it. but it's I've never seen one it. Of the, it's one of those where I I would see it on TV, but I never really sat down and watched it. And then I did, and it blew my mind. There's just the things that Brad Pitt says throughout, just like kind of the quotes that he has reflected on me, and I was like, well, you know, he's kind of right, and. Just, you know, Edward Norton is just yeah. one of my heroes. So you personally. like a movie He's because it relates of... to you. Yes, All absolutely. Right. Right. But it's just a good movie. It's well acted. It's got a great story. It's got awesome. It's funny, but it's also dramatic. It's got some action in it. I love it. It's definitely number one. That's why, yeah, I, picked I, the, I, that's why I picked The Dark Knight, too, because I am Batman, actually. All right, my number one movie, The Smurfs. I can the see what? It. Back to the Future. That's what I thought. Okay. The first one. Ah. Uh, I. All right. I. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of upset that it's number five on your list, side. But then again, I see those other movies, well, and I know you're more involved with them. Yes, I like the first Back to the Future. It's good. It, um, what's his face? Michael J. Fox. Really, really good. Uh, Incredible. Ooh, Doc. And then Doc Brown. Cr- funny. Chris funny Lloyd as hell. is just crazy, and oh my god, that yeah. that movie. It's probably one of those films that I can watch. I, I watch it all the time. It does. If you do think about it, though, if you think really into it with the time travel shit, it kind of hurts your it head. It makes sense, though. That's it. what I like about it. No, it doesn't. Go back and think about all the shit, and it kind of 
it's difficult to think about. So that's why I put it at five because it's still enjoyable. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't like it. We got to make a timeline of what happens in all the movies. Wait, you don't, I don't like, like Back to the Future? Tom? I don't like them. Well, well Tom, really? fuck off, Batman. Uh, I, I don't like was, them that much. I think it was good. Okay. Bye, everybody. Peace. Goodbye, world. See you guys later.